everybody, Mike Dukes here. I'm with Eddie. I've got a co-host today who loves to give kisses. <laughs> this is Amana. What can you tell us about her aside from the fact she loves the lovins? Uh, she's about two years old. Uh, she came to us as a stray and she's been with us about a month. And she's just a snuggle bug. This is how she meets everybody she meets. This is what she does. She hugs, hugs and kisses. Um, Cleans out your ear for you. If you're if you're short of Q-tips one day, she will dig down in there and clean you out. But just a sweetheart. Actually, they were telling me, because um, she was out playing in the yard when I brought her out for, for this, um, they were telling me her nickname is Sweet Beef. Because she's so beefy and so sweet. So, <laughs> Like some places you can get like, uh, like orange chicken. You come to the Humane Society to get Sweet Beef. Yeah. I've seen a lot of <laughs> cuddly, loving, kiss-giving dogs in all the years I've been doing this. I, I think she's got them all beat. Yeah, you got them all beat. She's definitely one of those like those Velcro type dogs where um, once she meets you, if you're like standing there holding her leash, she is leaning against your leg. You know, she's just you're like, oh, you're her person now and she's your best friend. And if your face was closer, she'd give you kisses. But if you're standing there, she'll just lean on your leg. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like the idea of, you know, the constant companion forever at your side, your your best buddy, always there you can depend on, this is her. Yeah. She, and she's got a little heft to her, so she's going to snuggle with you. And if weighted blankets are your thing, she's very comforting to have sitting directly on you. Yeah. Not really wiggly at all, just likes to get up there and be close to you. What would Amana's uh, adoption fee be? Amana's uh, adoption fee would be one fifty. Um, that includes all of her microchipping, vaccinations. Uh, luckily, uh, we've had her spayed ahead of time, so she is able to go home with you same day that you come in to meet her. Perfect. Um, we're pretty sure uh, we don't have it since she came to us yesterday. We don't have a history on her, um, but she's so sweet with everybody. Um, we're thinking kids, you know. I, we, she should do fine around kids. Um, probably, probably should stay with older kids just because, um, because of her size, she might uh, might knock a toddler down trying to go up and you know love on them. But um, we think she'll be okay with about everything. She's just got such a good heart. Constant companion. Very, very loving will forever give you kisses if she can get access to your face. Mm -hmm. And as far as we can tell, loves just about everybody. If that's not the ideal dog, I don't know what is. And she'll keep you warm at night. Because I'm pretty sure she's the type who would want to be right up there laying next to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So if this cutie here, yeah, how you do? Oh, want to say something? No. Okay, good idea. If this cutie here is your idea of, you know, I, that's the kind of dog I want. I mean, how many people, when you think of a, you know, I want a dog as a pet, you want the one that's going to be right there at your side, someone you can take places with you, someone who's going to be nice with strangers, nice with the family. This is perfect right here. So contact the Kokomo Humane Society. Let them know you want to meet Amana. And if you decide she is a perfect fit for you after you come and meet her, you can fill out that form and take her home that very same day. So contact the Kokomo Humane Society. Tell them you want to meet Amana. You need some loving in your life. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>